Hello and welcome to the first edition of the Stamps Aren't Cool podcast. My name is Jared, and joining me is my co-host Celeste. Hi Celeste. Hi. How's it going? Good. Great. And thanks to you, the listener, for listening to this podcast. I don't know what you were searching for accidentally when you found this one, but thanks for giving us a go. This is indeed a podcast about stamp collecting. I write a stamp collecting blog because I'm that cool. And I swear this is true. Celeste said, why don't we do a stamp collecting podcast together and I can tell you when you're getting too boring and I can just generally make fun of you. That was the pitch. That sounds like me. It sounds like what you do every day of our married (laughs) lives. And that was an irresistible pitch for a stamp collecting podcast. I just dropped a bombshell accidentally. We are married. We're a couple. We've been married for going on 12 and a half years. It's very close to 30. Celeste is not a stamp collector. Celeste is a perfectly normal and very cool person. Yes. And she married a nerd. (laughs) <laughs> so this is not going to be your stamp nerd podcast not like not not so much deep level picking apart inside language kind of stuff and if it becomes that celeste is here to say hold up a minute what are you talking about this is for people who might have a passing interest in stamps maybe a bit of a curiosity very good chance if you're a bit younger you might have inherited a collection that's how younger people tend to come to stamp collecting these days and they immediately want to know What's it worth? We could do a whole episode on that coming up soon. Great. And the other ambition that, well, I personally have for this podcast, I don't know about you, Celeste, but I do, is that it's just kind of fun to listen to. You know, a bit of, a bit. does, does entertainment kill anyone? As long as I keep you on track. When did you decide you wanted to marry a stamp collector? <laughs> One of the first times that we went out, you sat me down and you said, I've got something to tell you. And a was a really serious moment and you looked at me and said I'm a philatelist <laughs> and <laughs> I don't remember this <laughs> and I had no idea what that meant he might as well have said I'm a serial killer I just kind of looked at you and gave you a, a nodding reassuring look and there was an awkward pause until you realised I had no idea what that means. <laughs> and then you explained to me that philately is stamp collecting and I wanted to run a mile. <laughs> Into my arms. <laughs> no. no. Well, Celeste mocks me, but over the course of our years together, she has managed to chase up a bunch of very impressive presents for me occasionally. You've uh-huh. had to deal with some some cantankerous stamp dealers, <laughs> some stamp publishers who didn't quite know how to use the internet. Mm. You have found beautiful cards for me. You have been a fun person to have around, very supportive of my nerdy little hobby. And yeah, you mock me, but I love it. And it's not <laughs> as nasty as some of the other mockery I get out there in the wider world. This is true. But something I would like to point out on behalf of my people is we get it, especially the younger ones. And I know... You're probably looking at me and going, you're not young. I Believe me, in relative terms, in stamp collectors, among <laughs> among stamp collectors, I'm like one of the young ones. Spring chicken. When I go, when I walk into stamp club, people clutch their handbags a little bit tighter. <laughs> it's not a cool hobby. In fact, that's one of the reasons that we call the podcast Stamps Aren't Cool is because... They're not. No. <laughs> no. It's just the truth. We're not kidding anyone. And sure, it's not quite what it used to be in terms of being a massive popular worldwide hobby, and that's because somebody inv- invented computer games. But those of us who are into it, we're still into it. And the good thing about the internet, and particularly during lockdown, is a whole bunch of people around the world who thought they were the only young stamp collector found each other, and we discovered that oh, there's, there's a good like five or six of us. So I'm hoping that maybe through this podcast we might reach number seven, number eight. We could start a club. It'd be very exciting. <laughs> Celeste, tell us about yourself. How much do you reckon the listeners need to know about you and your life this early on? I work in television. I'm not used to radio or podcasting, so I'll learn the etiquette. Celeste works in audio in television. She's, uh, I've been trying to set up this podcast and she's, has <laughs> I have been, not helped. <laughs> she's been full of professional advice. That he is not listened to. <laughs> <laughs> I have listened to it. I probably couldn't hear it because I, you were trying to tell me through one of the microphones that I couldn't get working. 
Celeste does bring two very important things to this podcast. She brings a little bit of audio knowledge, well, quite a lot of audio knowledge that I'm sure is going to come in very handy when we try to clean up this very track that Mm -hmm. we're recording. And she also brings a Casio keyboard that you would have already heard in action. That's why you married me. (laughs) That's right. I was like, if if nothing else, I want want an early 90s Casio keyboard. And if I have to marry someone to get it, that's what I'll do. I knew that would reel a man in. (laughs) So what you've got is a nerdy stamp collector and mocking wife. And if you think this sounds like the kind of podcast you could enjoy, stick around. You might actually learn something, but if nothing else, you you might have a laugh and you might be a fly on the wall as our marriage (laughs) disintegrates. So in case you're wondering what sort of stuff is going to be on the podcast, well, there are always stories coming out each week in the news about stamps and the postal system, believe it or not, even as it withers on the vine. Controversies connected to new stamp issues... Uh, I might be able to talk about some of the classics of the years past. I'd be curious to hear from our listeners or our viewers on uh, on YouTube to to tell me why you're listening. Like, do you collect? Are you interested? I'd love to know. <laughs> you, you just generally need convincing that anyone is going to listen, don't you? <laughs> I feel like I could flash my <laughs> right now. <laughs> no one's going to see it. <laughs> I will. <laughs> yeah, it'll be a first. Anyway, uh, so um, <laughs> that's staying in. You realise that? <laughs> yes, I do. Um, sorry, mum. <laughs> sorry, my mum. <laughs> this is who I married. <laughs> um, well, I had I was about to say something, but no, <laughs> you've completely helped me lose sorry. my train of thought. <laughs> Now, Celeste, when we were cooking up this idea, you asked what I think was a very pertinent question. Do you remember what that was? Was it how are people going to see what we're talking about? Because we are talking about a visual medium, and this is, as I believe you called it a moment ago off air. A talky thing. A talky thing. (laughs) I mentioned that I do write a blog. It's called punkphilatelist.com. And every time we put up an episode of this podcast, I'll put up a post on the punkphilatelist.com blog, and that will have pictures of the stamps that we're talking about, so that you can kind of go and have a look. Maybe you'd like to peruse it while you listen to the podcast. And the other thing is, as I said, we will put maybe little highlights, little teasers up on YouTube, and of course we'll include the images whenever we can. We'll use the images of the stamps that we're talking about. Hopefully we'll do such an incredible job talking about them that you'll maybe not even need to see them. Definitely. We will paint word pictures in your mind. Like ducks. Yeah. (laughs) There's an entire field known as duck stamps. And they're beautiful stamps. We will be asked about this. Yeah. Oh, we should do a whole episode about duck stamps. Done. (laughs) This podcast, even though we're calling it Stamps Aren't Cool, it's kind of the podcast of of Punk Philatelist. So uh, if you want to get in touch with us, head to my socials, Punk Philatelist at Twitter, uh, also Instagram, and you can find me on Facebook as well. Yeah, Uh, bother him. (laughs) We do have an individual email address for this podcast, though, that we'll both be able to check so Celeste doesn't have to go poking into my emails because you never know what she might see. So that is stampsaren'tcool at gmail.com. Didn't really think through the fact that our title has an apostrophe in it, and, of course, email addresses don't. So drop the apostrophe. On your, uh, on your way into sending us an email. Unless it's a complaint, in which case, keep it. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for listening. Stick around while we collectively all figure out what this podcast is and who on earth needs to hear it. No one. <laughs> and we'll see you next time. Celeste, cue the Casio. Hello and welcome to the first edition. No, I'm going to start again looking at I had a sh- sh- eating grin. <laughs> <laughs> Or do you want to sort of be an international woman of mystery? You can't do visuals on podcasts, my darling. <laughs> <laughs>